Hello uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Uh, today and for the next few videos I'm going to be doing something uh, slightly different. <clears throat> this game is called uh, Door Kickers 2 and it's a tactical uh, CQB uh, mostly uh, game that allows us to employ uh, CQB uh, tactics and uh, all of uh, the rules that apply there. Um, I am going to play through a number of um, levels here uh, in a vanilla kind of setup so no mods whatsoever and uh, employ uh, some of the CQB principles uh, that I've learned uh, by mostly playing airsoft uh, because I've never served in the armed forces uh, and never been in a firefight fortunately uh, but uh, some of the same uh, CQB uh, tactics are very useful if you are uh, looking to play airsoft or sabage as it's called in Japan <clears throat> where I am based and um, uh, if you find uh, these kind of videos interesting or something uh, that you might be interested in I uh, would recommend watching this uh, right now uh, we are playing uh, with a uh, bit of our squad here. I call it Final Fantasy because I'm a complete nerd. Uh, and right now we are uh, deploying two uh, characters in a sense, two operators. Uh, one is called Sid because there has to be a Sid in every Final Fantasy and Bonin, which is me. So let's look at their equipment for now. Uh, we have the M16A4 rifle. Um, uh, we have the M9 pistol, low cut helmet, um, the plates on the vest, uh, some flashbangs and slap charges to uh, slap charges to go through doors, and then uh, Ronin, which is me. I don't have a beard. I wish I did. Uh, we have pretty much the same equipment. Here in this particular scenario, we are in a small um, kind of a compound. Uh, we are oh, we are not expecting any uh, civilians here. Um, and we see actually here a mechanical uh, being here with a, I think is a, it looks like a 50 cal uh, on top of it uh, which is being worked on right now so I guess this particular um, mission asks us to uh, neutralize all enemy combatants in this particular compound so uh, the mission is eliminate all terrorists so this tells me that uh, there are no civilians and I should be uh, going uh, loud and I'm going to be pretty aggressive. Uh, generally speaking, in CQB, there are three uh, elements that you need to be uh, constantly aware of, which is a speed, a surprise, and violence of action or uh, controlled violence of action. And uh, this will hopefully allow us to be uh, all three. So let's start. So first of all, I'm going to move Sid uh, to this corner and I would like to um, pie off this particular area. I'm not worried about what's behind us because it's a game, but generally speaking, what I would do uh, if I were to approach it in kind of a real life situation, I would definitely cover the approach from behind us such as this. So let's go and move. Okay. <clears throat> so there are no doors, so this is a pretty simple kind of uh, entry, hopefully. So let's go and pie it off this way and march. Okay, there you go. So we got one uh, enemy combatant down already. He was uh, probably standing security, welcoming us all. So we're going to go further in just now. Okay, it's, uh, usually speaking, because we lost the element of surprise, so all we have to be, we have to be quite violent uh, and also quite uh, quick in our action. So now we have two combatants down, and this is a good time to approach this particular threshold. So cover this, constantly maintaining security. I'm not worried about what's behind me, so I'm gonna put Ronan behind Sid and cover this area. So I'm going to prep the room by uh, throwing a flashbang. As soon as the flashbang is out, I am going to move with Ronin. 
so let's go flashbang on alpha set it for alpha and then for bravo we are going to arch this way pying more of this of this room nope actually because the flashbang is out we might as well enter so we're gonna go and um, go with the path of least resistance and move to this corner point of domination and make sure to cover everything here and he's gonna move on Bravo so let's try that Alpha, go. Alpha, go. Here. okay so this room is clear now again we have to think about this particular doorway and here as well I guess it's the whole um, area it's quite dangerous I'm just gonna go move in and uh, clear out the rest of this room so I'm gonna button hook here and okay now Sid is gonna move first uh, he's gonna become a one man again because uh, he has the most situational awareness I'm gonna go to this corner and establish our position here again very similar now here I'm a little bit worried because if I were to move uh, my operator here he's gonna be in a fatal funnel with this um, whole area I mean I would like to avoid that so I need to prep those uh, these areas uh, as much as possible so I'm gonna go another throw another flash here and with Ronin actually I'm gonna throw oh no let's change it I'm gonna throw a flash this way and Ronin will throw a flash into this interior as well once it's done we're moving in flash out, flash out. okay it's done now so now actually okay Sid is gonna move in and and establish this and Ronin will move in and cover this area let's go okay uh, so we have a bit of an outside here but I'm not worried about this uh, I guess all of this is pretty much um, contained here so once again let's move forward maintaining the security and then we cross cover there's no oh there you go okay once again oh I have only one more flash left so this is now Ronin is throwing a flash and I'm gonna move Sid how are we on ammo Sid okay I'm gonna move Sid uh, into this room once it's all clear and what we're going to do as soon as we move I'm gonna cover our approach Let's go, and Ronin is moving this way and covering further. Okay, so this room is pretty much clear. Now we're out of flashbangs, uh, so I, I'm assuming there's one person here in the shitter, it seems. Oh no, what is it? I'm not sure what it is. So, gonna because here we don't have enough space to actually stand and be covered in any significant way so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move Sid here while maintaining security Ronin is gonna go behind him and maintain this and once we're in position uh, Sid is just oh, Sid is just gonna go here and of this particular room slowly and we're done it's pretty messy uh, this taught me that I really should be uh, bringing more flashbangs in order to uh, clear the room because there were no civilians I could have used more um, uh, explosive power a bit more aggressive but it was mostly okay 
so uh, let's continue if you like what you saw uh, please uh, like the video hopefully and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this uh, kind of content thank you very much have a lovely day